Hey guys, Alex here with Armadillo Armament. Today, I'm going to be showing you my entire kit setup. This is being created largely because I've received so many questions on my play carrier, my helmet, uh, mostly everything that I'm running. Uh, I recently posted a picture to Reddit, Instagram, Facebook, and I got a lot of questions there. So I'm just going to be answering all those questions in one video, showing where to find these things and showing off the tiger stripe drip, as uh, many people seem to love. So uh, do understand if you do want a more comprehensive review of my MEPC or my ACH or my MCX, please take a look at my channel and you'll find uh, more in-depth reviews of those. Now, really quick before we jump into the video, I partnered with Red Pond Shop. He makes stickers and patches for me. Uh, every patch or sticker you buy is going to be removing one pound of junk from the ocean as well as planting a tree. If you use Cord Armadillo, you'll get 5% off and I get a small kickback. It's a really cool armadillo patch with quad nods and an MCX. So you're not only helping me, you're helping the planet. All right, let's jump straight into my entire kit, and I'm going to be putting everything that I would potentially wear in a shit hit the fan situation on so we can see it in its entirety. All right, so starting at the top, I have a high cut ACH. That's a ballistic helmet. Uh, it's able to stop up to 44 Magnum, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I do prefer ballistic helmets. I don't as much enjoy bumps. They require a lot more counterweights, especially for a bino setup, uh, as well as in shit hits a fan. Um, we're seeing over uh, in Ukraine right now, uh, spall, frag, mortar, artillery is a really uh, big issue for a lot of people. And I personally believe in ballistic helmets, even as a civilian. So do whatever you'd like. I recommend bumps. Like I said, this is a cut ACH. I have a couple of videos on this. It's probably my favorite setup for really cheap. You can do this entire thing for about 100, 200 bucks if you find a good deal. On this ACH, I have a set of green phosphor uh, aviation RNBGs. Um, I love RNBGs. I will have a updated review on them in the future once I get a little bit more time, but it is to say I really recommend them. Uh, I have Sport 500 headphones. I'll put a link. These are a really cheap way of getting really uh, excellent noise canceling headphones. And um, in the back, I have a TNVC Mohawk uh, kind of counterfeit, um, as well as a full P226 mag, because that's how I counterweight my system. Instead of shimming in lead weights, I just have a full 226 mag back there, as well as some spare batteries. Uh, pretty simple helmet setup. Of course, the only difference is if it was really cold out, I'd probably be wearing a balaclava, but that's about it. This is realistically my shit hit the fan ballistic helmet setup. Let's move on to the middle area and the plate carrier setup. All right, so Mepsi play carrier. This is in Multicam Tropic. Multicam Tropic is one of the drippiest camos there is. Um, Multicam is kind of uh, crazy how effective it is, to be honest with you. It works in almost every environment I've tested. And uh, Multicam Tropic is just a little bit different than that. It's a little bit more green. So it's uh, still a really drippy camo, but it's not quite like the Fedboy camo, which I think is, you know, cool for us civilians. I'd like to distinguish a little bit. Um, furthermore, my favorite color is green, so of course everything's going to be in green in Multicam Tropic. Um, it's just a really fucking cool camo. So anyway, um, go watch my video on the MEPSI if you want more information on it. But MEPSI, you have the Assaulter's Cumberbund. I have a pouch right here if I want to keep my nods in. Uh, I normally just keep them on my helmet, but if I want to keep them in a protective case, I can use that. That's a defense mechanisms, um, just GP pouch. Now, on the left side, this is where I keep my radio. Uh, I can actually move that radio if I want to have additional magazines. I'm able to fully, I'm able to carry an entire combat load if I want. Um, and then up here, I can carry like pistol mags. And here's a really cool pe uh, feature of the um, kind of like a Salter placard. Can carry a 20 rounder in there i just pop a 20 rounder in for when i'm doing like prone work it's really convenient um other than that that's their recondite rear bag uh, i have some braided nylon on the side of it and uh, i normally carry just a bunch of extra like medical and um a bunch of other like magazines in case shit hits the fan because i do have a support network of friends that i can work with and even though i can't reach it in the middle of like a combat environment i can technically have my friends grab it for me or I can restock at, a, at our designated location. Um, so anyway, uh, MEPC, excellent play carrier. Definitely my favorite play carrier on the market. I highly recommend it and go watch my video for more information. Now, uh, moving on to this um, and then gloves really quick. I carry two sets of gloves usually on my belt setup. 
This is more for just like fun work uh, when I'm inside like buildings or when I just want to have a little bit more like tactility or maybe a tiny bit more warmth. And these are some Flectarn like German Bundeswehr, I'm um, assuming like winter gloves. These are really um, resilient and they're very comfortable. So I really, you know, if shit hits the fan, I'm 100% of the time I'm wearing gloves just because you don't want to get shit on your hands. Uh, in that recent Grantham video, one of the guys where he's talking about his setups, he says probably the biggest reason you, you want to wear gloves is because you don't want to be touching like dead bodies and shit uh, with, with your naked hands. You're going to get infections. So um, I definitely carry a lot of gloves on me. I normally have an extra pair in my bag too, which sounds like overkill. But if you ever worked a day in your life, you know that gloves are a, uh, a very disposable um, resource. So I really recommend you have a couple nice pairs of gloves. Um, this, this got a lot of comments. This is from Venture Surplus. I'll put a picture on the screen right now. Uh, Venture Surplus makes really cool shit. Hopefully I can partner with them to be honest with you, but uh, Tiger Stripe, I think this entire setup cost me less than $100. It seems very high quality. I've done some uh, light like rocking with it and right and light night vision stuff with it. I haven't really put it through too many of its paces yet, um, but it's definitely resilient to water and snow pretty well. Uh, my only other side comment is it's really freaking hot. Uh, just sitting in this right now, I'm sweating. So, you know, it's probably not something you're wearing during the summer, but, um, you know, there are other options for that. All right, so uh, let's jump into my belt setup before we round this video up. All right, so last but not least, we have the belt setup and my lower. So uh, the belt, this is a T-Rex Arms Orion. I have a Ragnarok Glock 34 holster right here. I'm sporting a Roland Special type build with a SRO Comp X300. Um, I love the Roland Special. It's actually what started my channel for the most part. And uh, yeah, go look at other videos of uh, on my channel for the Roland Special info. But anyway, uh, T-Rex Arms Orion. This is my preferred belt setup. Um, this is a war belt, which means it's going to be able to hold a little bit more, uh, a little bit more capability, really, um, as well as it's going to go over your setup. Now, there's a huge benefit to that, and that is I can wear a winter coat or I can just throw this over like jeans. I, I don't need to really like dress around the setup. Um, I can just kind of throw this over whatever I'm wearing. If I'm wearing shorts and basketball shorts, I can throw this over some basketball shorts, and I really love that, as well as the fact it's just really, really, really comfortable. So right side, um, this is, like I said, a uh, Glock 34 holster. I have the T-Rex Arms um, medical pouch. I have a, you know, ITRK, I think is what it's called. Uh, I carry about nine fucking tourniquets on my kit, to be honest with you, and that's one of them. On the left side, this is a little bit more interesting. I have double pistol mag, and I have a rifle mag. Um, I know that looks like my uh, play carrier and shit's in the way. It's not. Um, I can draw my pistol perfectly. I can grab a spare mag without it being in the way whatsoever, um, and that mag placement is in a perfect spot to uh, do a really quick reload. And um, besides that, at the very back of my setup, I have a dump pouch and whatnot. So I like to keep my belt pretty clear, um, but I still just prefer the war belt setup because I think it's a lot more comfortable. Uh, like I said, Two sets of gloves on each end, both of which I don't really care about the pattern. One's Flectarn, one's Multicam, and one's a different shade of Multicam. And lastly, once again, the Venture Surplus Pants. These pants are uh, have been pretty phenomenal so far. Um, this is a T-Rex Arms thigh strap, by the way, just to keep my gun a little bit more secure when I'm drawing. Um, I would recommend a uh, uh, locking holster, like a Sapphire Land, by the way, if you are doing this professionally. But the Venture Surplus Pants... Um, they're very flexible. I basically went like a size or two up. As you can see, they're pretty baggy, but um, they're very flexible. They're extremely hot. Uh, I can, I've proned in the snow and I'm not really getting too much like moisture through this. It's probably some sort of Gore-Tex material. Um, but so far, I'm really enjoying these pants and I'm really enjoying this upper. So uh, that's all I have to say about the belt setup. Let's go back up. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, I made this because I received roughly 45 DMs on Reddit uh, asking certain pieces of kit. And um, I think that we in the gun community, we kind of rely on each other a lot. And that's a good thing. That's one of our greatest attributes is we're constantly posting our builds and people are critiquing them and giving their input. Um, I'm a civilian, so I've never had to use this in combat in any capacity. Um, so if you do have your own like real life expertise to give to me, please feel free. Uh, I don't mind the criticism whatsoever. I know there are things that could be better. I'm learning every single day, but 
I hope this video helped you out. If you're new to gear and you saw my setup and you said, hell yeah, I want to do what he's doing. I hope these uh, pointers can kind of point you in the right direction and always feel free to comment down below on any of my videos because I read almost every single comment and I try to respond to every comment that has a question. So um, I'd really appreciate your support if you subscribed and liked and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.